Hey, we're back at it, and this time we're going to check out one of the top rated bun sale restaurants in Ho Chi Minh City slash Saigon just to see if it's worth the hype. If you're like me, I used to think bun sale was made with egg, but the yellow crepe actually consists of turmeric, rice flour, and coconut cream. So good. Anyway, we basically ordered almost everything on the menu so you don't have to. Come sit with us. This is another highly rated bun sale place that we found on Google. It uh, is about 15 minutes from the city center of Ho Chi Minh, but uh, they have the most massive bun sales ever. Check it out. This is the lady that makes it. So we decided to eat bun sale today, and we're at the bun sale. Yeah, I'm Gam Sun. That was Gam Sun. It's a little further from where we're at, but not that long, about 15 minutes. I want to tell you about, there's so many things on this menu. They have like, they have the English menu too. But, so many things. Noodles or miscelli, I don't know. You can even cook your own meat in a hot pot. Shrimp with beer. Mm. All right, food's coming out. So I gotta show you how big this bun sale is. First of all, this is my hand. This is the special. Usually it's like half the size, but I've been craving this. Oh, also this is a crab soup, right? Yeah. This is a soup bu, it's a crab soup. And this is bun called, it's a kind of similar batter to the bun sale. But they put it in like little pockets with the shrimp. And I think that's like a shrimp powder. So you basically all these herbs, you wrap it with the lettuce. Yeah. And ooh, the jiggle happy. Is this pork blood or what is this? No, it's like oh, it's oh, ground pork, tofu, oh, I think. Third it's shrimp, it's yeah. like mushrooms. Mushrooms? Yeah. And mushrooms. It's very viscous. Yeah, it is. It's oh, pretty. I'm picking it up with cornstarch. Mm -hmm. Cornstarch <laughs> stir. I want to try a bit of this first. So this is Ban Hoi with Nam Nung. It's a uh, vermicelli, really small, thin vermicelli stuck together. And this is a uh, pork meatball. We got these fried, delicious, crispy egg rolls. Yeah. So delicious. Wrap it with the herbs. Dip it in the fish sauce. Pretty big, so <laughs> You want some right now? Herbs. My most hated herb is here. I don't know, this is probably good. Grab it. Then we can cheers to eat it. I'm gonna put an egg roll in here too. So fish put out fried fish. Oh amazing. Cut the fish. Cheers. Cheers. Ew, you touched it. Mm. Okay, so that roll is the best egg roll we had on this trip so far. Really? Yeah. What's in it? Crab. Oh, because it has crab. I like to eat the crispies. What are you looking for? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Why did I drop that? Oh, oh damn my it. God, that's dope. Where's your. Oh, no. Sorry. Bone? 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 Sorry. I'm going to say sorry. Can you take it to the bathroom and wash this? Because I have to wash it anyway. My bad. I literally just spilled fish sauce all over my table. Oh, that was 
Thank you. These were the muffins I was talking about earlier. <laughs> yeah, everything's just laid out. Looks pretty organized though. Nice. Crab meat. This is for their other dish, the bangtan I think the grills are where they lay the bun sale so that the oil can drip down. Oh, what is that? The shrimp. Shrimp and pork. Oh shoot, there's already one, but I didn't see him making it. My bad, but you can see how humongous it is in these walks. Pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> there's a windowless area here. <gasps> wow, this place is pretty big. I recommend it. And look, the noob of the day. pretty obvious that we look like we're not from here so we always get a lot of looks <laughs> but it's cool is this it no that's uh, a taxi taxi are you ready or you want to walk around here okay. oh wait i wanted to look at that cart because it looks like they're selling coconut juice in the front oh by the way so I personally think the best thing was the egg rolls. Yeah. The, so you got better bun sale. Okay, the bun sale, like I wish, I wish maybe the pan was not so deep so that they all the contents inside the like the bean sprouts and the pork weren't just gathered in the center. I kind of want it to be spread out a little bit. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe that's not, maybe there's a reason why they do that. But it is really crispy. I like it. It's really good. But it was probably only like two shrimps in there and four pieces of pork maybe. And the rest was bean sprouts. It was just because it was so wide and it's so thin. So. Oh, yeah. They are. You can't hold that much, I guess. Right? Yeah. Mean? And if you put too much, then it'll break. Then you can't fold it. So it was more for, uh, I don't know, structural integrity. Okay. There you go. Yes. All right. Would you recommend it though? Oh yeah, you guys gotta come here. It yeah. was one of the best fun sales I had ever. Ever. Ever? Ever. No, I think the one at your grandma aunt's place is still better. That yeah, one that's homemade though. I'm talking about a restaurant you can go to. They can't oh, go okay. to my aunt's house. She I think had... this is the only bunso I've had at a restaurant. Yeah. Here, here, here in Vietnam. But in the total came out to be fourteen dollars and we ordered so much things, so many things. Yeah, we had one, two, like five, six things or so. Oh yeah, the crab soup was really good. If crab if, soup if you're feeling like us. yeah. It was like big chunks of crab. Like I was just thinking, I was yeah. so bad for the person who had to peel all that crab. There's a lot of crab in there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they bought it pre pre uh, no. pre shelled. No. You don't think so? No. They have a crab peeler in the back. Uh, it's a restaurant. And it's fresh too. You can taste it's not canned or anything. There's a crab peeler. Uh, you can tell. Yeah. It's, it's fresh because all the meat's intact. If it's canned, it falls Shredded. apart very easily because it's been in a can for so long. But then you taste the freshness, like chunks of it, and it's like intact. That's the main key. That's how it's tell. It's so oh. sweet and delicious. Do I want a pineapple? I mean, do I want a coconut juice? Here's I don't a, think so. Here's a stand. A, okay, fine. Things. Are we waiting for the Uber? Yeah, let's go back. All right. Walking back. Man, much nicer to walk out right now. Even though it's humid because it looks like it's about to rain. It sprinkled for a little bit earlier and stopped. It would probably be a good day to go walk the Bentan Market. But maybe we'll go do that in a little bit. Or maybe Monday. We shall see. Hold on. Oh yeah, by the way, you should look at the floor when you're walking here. Because there are a lot of uh, holes and like uh, drop-offs. So. It's a lot of drop-offs. Yeah, no, the other day it was like a... Watch where you go, you can't... It was like a two foot high <laughs> drop sidewalk. If so, you're blind, make sure you bring yeah. your walking stick. Yeah, exactly. So. Don't think you're daredevil. I don't think that. Oh my god, I'm still so sweaty. <laughs> All right, that's it.
Oh, well, I just want to point out earlier, it would have been booty. Mm. Wow. Okay, anyway. No, earlier we came in wanting to go check out this drink spot across the street from the hotel, but it was just motorcycle parking. But turns out we had to go upstairs. Here it is. Wow. <laughs> Halloween. Wait, Halloween passed already? Oh, yeah, it did. Okay, let me see. Ooh, do I want? I think I want. Oh, you want a dessert? We found this pretty cool cafe that's right next door to our hotel. And I ordered I ordered the mango tea mango and something yeah the mango tea oh I thought there was another fruit a mango peach or something oh man so I got the avocado durian shake and then once they made it the whole the whole place smells like durian now yeah it's I want to taste it yeah, mine is like a smoothie-like consistency too. Mm, it's like it's so good. Mine is kind of thick. Oh, I think because they it's use so real mangoes. Big. It's so good. Taste. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. I don't know. I can't. The smell hits you first, and it kind of shocks you. Does it taste so good? What it's really do you like? Good. Is it be It doesn't smell to me. I oh, it doesn't it smell to you? No. So it just tastes that luxurious custardiness? Yeah, it tastes custardy. Velvety, it's in my head. I mean. And sweet. <laughs> I think I ordered the one with avocado, but he just gave me straight durian, but that's fine too. Oh, yeah, I think mine's a mango peach green tea. That's what it is. It's funny, most hotels, there's like signs on the. The door so you can't bring guns, cigarettes, and or dirty. <laughs> and including the one the place where we're staying too, so yeah. I'd be super discreet. Oh yeah, you better close that up. Yeah. And lock it away. Yum. Okay. What do you think? Would you try anything we ate? If you have any recommendations, leave a comment down below and we'll be sure to respond. And if you enjoyed coming along with us today, it would be super duper cool if you gave this video a thumbs up. We'll be eating our way through Vietnam, so if that's interesting to you, consider subscribing. Thanks, and see you soon.